Hey you guys, what is up? This is OJ Senpai here today to do the review for Magi, The Labyrinth of Magic, Chapter 237. Now, uh, this chapter of Magi, pretty much it ends the flashback arc. If you guys are wondering, yeah, it's ended, it's done. Um, this chapter to me was actually pretty good, so I'm gonna dive right in. Now, the first thing that we have to realize is that, yeah, at this point in time, Amal Tehran is fucking destroyed. There's no resources left. They have to leave to this new world that Ugo has built. Now, one thing that Ugo realizes, and I think this is really good, is that they, he realizes that they need a king. They need a king to rule just like Solomon. However, they don't want a, they don't want a king like King David or Elder Elder David. So, there's a new system that he's going to use in order to bring out this new king of the next world. And according to it, Ugo, it's called the Magi system, which is pretty much the system we know now, despite the fact that it hasn't really been named. Okay, obviously, of course, there are three Magi. The three Magi pick from different kingdoms, you know, the different kingdoms to see who is their king candidate. And at the end of the, at the, end of the t day, at the end of the time, that king candidate will become chosen to become the next Solomon like figure for the world. So, and of course, these Magi will be powerful. They will have Solomon's will. They will have, um, they will have like a lot of power. So, yeah, this, this review is going to be pretty short. I mean, it's not that big, it's not that too big. Now, here's the next thing the gin equip, no, the gin and the metal vessels. When it comes to this, I actually like it because it makes sense. When you take a look at the other species, the ones that stay with Ugo afterwards, like, you know what? Ugo was like, you know what, listen, I'm going to need you guys to help me out. If we're going to pick these new, these new king candidates, we need to give them some power, some actual power, some actual worth. Because, you know, something that will get, make them seem powerful and imposing. And the only, the way that Ugo found out was like, okay, how about this? I give them the metal vessels, and you guys will be the guardians of these metal vessels. Now, what you're also going to do is you're going to stay uh, within these underground cities, aka the dungeons, which we met before. And these dungeons will hold you guys as a gin, and I will be a gin myself. When the next king candidate comes along, you find him worthy. He can pick up the metal vet. He can make a new metal vessel and become your representative of the sort. So, and of course, whoever. Whoever King Canada is chosen via that metal vessel will become the next Solomon like figure. So, obviously, more interesting information. And I also like how the people in this chapter, the, the species, are all willing to follow um, follow Ugo after seeing the destruction of Alma Toran, uh, Arba destroying everything. They still want to follow Ugo because they think it's a legitimate plan. And at this point now, we have the world being built. There are former members of Alma Turan that are still there, and they build the foundation for this tribe known as the Toran tribe. And apparently, this tribe is the reason as to why the Alma Turan language is still known to this day. So, that's interesting as well. Of course, we see the metal vessels, we see the new world, Ugo becomes a jinn, and also, we finally see Aladdin being born. You know, now Aladdin finally being born. Now, Here's the thing, Ugo is now a jinn, and he finds out, you know, there are three Magi, one in Ko, one in uh, the Ram Empire, and another one who just wanders the fuck around everywhere. But Aladdin is supposed to be the fourth Magi. Now, here's the thing, and of course, we already know Aladdin is special because he's on a special mission to make sure that the world is a safe place from Al Thaman. And that's the reason why there's a fourth Magi in the first place, even though technically there's only supposed to be three. And we see Aladdin, he reads star stories, he becomes strong in magic, uh, up until the point of the story, of course, the, the beginning of the story. And he's trying to question as to the reason as to why he lived, why he, what's his purpose, pretty much. And of course, this leads to the be very beginning of the story, where Ugo says, you know what? What do you desire? What do you want? What do you want to, like, um, do? And... Of course, this leads up to Aladdin saying, I want you to be my friend, and this, of course, leads them into the world where Alibaba and the others are located, the new world, pretty much. So, that's the, pretty much the end of the flashback arc. Um, final thoughts of the flashback arc in general? It was interesting. Fast-paced, really, yeah, it was really fast-paced. Um, and I, I guess people didn't want, didn't want to see, like, all this amazing stuff. This arc was really good, it was really good. 
and I guess people wanted to see Alibaba and the others, which is understandable, but still, you know, I kind of want to see a little bit more, but anyways, um, the writing for this chapter, obviously, this is a very good chapter, uh, pacing, again, fast as shit, really fast, uh, I'm gonna have to give that a rating of 5 out of 10, well, no, not 5 out of 10, uh, 6, it was rating of 6, 6 out of 10, uh, artwork, the artwork was fairly well done, I'm gonna have to give that a 7.5, and finally, the story progression will be a 9, so 9, 7.5, uh, 16.5, plus the 6, that'll be a 22.5, multiply that by, divide 22 by 3, and you get a 6.5, somewhere around that rating for this chapter, it was good, it was above average, but it could have been a little bit more slow paced, it could have been a little bit more, not, not as rushed, if you know what I mean, so, yeah, um, that's the promotion rating for this chapter 6.5 out of 10, and I'll see you guys later, like the video if you like it, dislike it, if you don't, rate, comment, and subscribe, and next week, guys, for Maki, the Labyrinth of Magic, peace.